Hey YouTube, Car Guy V8 here, bringing you the second part to my new 1985 C10 series. And this is the truck that I paid $700 for. And in the last video, I basically just walked around it, cleaned it up a little, and just showed you what it looked like. But in this video, we're going to get under the hood, get in the interior, see what I bought. So let's get started right now. First, I'm going to do another little walk around just to refresh you. A long bed. 85 c10 with very minimal rust i've not found a whole lot of rust on it you know other than some surface rust on the body panels but it's a pretty good condition old truck for what i paid the interior cleaned up very nicely i was very surprised i mean yeah it's not perfect but this is the original i guess what is it now 36 year old interior or whatever so this isn't a new truck by any means, but it cleaned up very nicely. Uh, <laughs> old Chevy doors. You can see a few fingerprints on it. <laughs> Those are mine. Really the worst um, body damage on it was the hood. Easily replaced with the cow hood. And then a dent on the roof. That one is a little more major, but still... You know, it's fixable. In one of my last videos, I put the steering wheel out of my 79 Sierra in this truck. It, you know, still says GMC on it, but this is a Chevy. This is just from my GMC. And you see it had this trim bezel. Sorry, there's I know there's probably those little floaty things in this. <laughs> I can't think of what to call them. Static. There you go. That was the stupidest thing I probably ever said in the video. <laughs> but it's getting dark out. I don't have a whole lot of time to make these videos. So I'm trying to make this fast. But it had a nice gauge bezel around it. It was just sitting in the floor and I put that in it. Very nice. Let's pop the hood and talk about what's in it. Since it's an 85, it actually has the hood latch right there and a hood latch on the inside, too. But here's its engine. This is an LE9-305. That was the factory four-barrel um, the factory four barrel 305 combination. Turbo 350 transmission. It's the TH350C, which I, mean, which I believe that means it has a lock-up torque converter in it. The truck did not have a distributor when I bought it. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get that zoomed out. If a cap was covering the distributor hole, I looked in there, there's a little bit of grass, but nothing major. I'm gonna flush that out. And in the next video, we're gonna see if we can't get it started up. Probably gonna have to do a little work on the carb and use my jerry rig fuel system that I've got. Cause I definitely will not want to pull fuel from the factory fuel tank so this is a two tank truck it's got one on this side and one on the driver's side as well and yeah they are let's see any wasp nest in there nope i smelled the passenger side one and of course this thing like i said it had been sitting for uh 10 years i believe let's see does it i don't think it has any water in it may not have turned that quite far uh, that does look pretty corroded in there the good thing about this truck is that it is complete so while i'm working on my 79 sierra project i can come take a look at this one see what it's got see i know not everything will be exactly the same but it's nice to have a complete vehicle that hasn't been touched really my current plan with the 85 c10 is to throw this engine which was in my old 89 Chevrolet truck and the transmission from that truck. I'm going to throw them both in the C10 because it was a five-speed transmission. This engine's already set up for a five-speed. And this was a 305, which, yeah, I know, just a 305. But the casting number shows that this is a roller motor. And, you know, it's fresh. This engine was a 2011 crate engine that was in the truck. I mean, just a stock 305 crate engine. But that truck should have 601 heads on it. 
which are a 305 HO head, because it was a factory four barrel truck. So if I'm thinking correctly, there'll be 601 heads. So that on top of the roller cam motor with a mild little roll with a mild little roller cam, those heads, some headers, which I have, you know, a stout 260, 270 horsepower combination, most likely. Maybe a little more if I'm lucky. But even with 273 gears, the five speed has a 402 first gear and a 232 second gear. So even with 273s, that's a pretty stout setup. I am still going to try to get the engine in it running. There's a lot of unknowns about the truck. I don't know why it was parked, why it was sitting. I know my friend bought it to make it a derby truck, but it wound up being too nice. So instead, he just let it sit because he didn't want to tear it up. So there's some unknowns. I don't know why it was parked. I don't know if the engine um, has low oil pressure. I don't know if the transmission is works or not. But we're going we're gonna to see all that before I just throw that other stuff in. Because if I could make it around the block a few times with the setup it has in it now, that would be awesome. The final thing I plan to do with the truck is some wheels and tires. Now, these wheels I like, but I've got another set I'm thinking about. I've already got it. I'll show y'all them and see what y'all think. This is the other set of wheels that I'm thinking of running. These are some old school hammers from, I believe, the 80s. They don't make these anymore. These are pretty cool wheels, but I honestly, I think the ones on it look a little better. But I'm still probably going to put one of these on just to see because it's hard to tell without putting something on. These are a little dirty. These were on my 79 Sierra. I don't know if y'all saw the first video I took of the 79 before I started working on it. But this was the wheel and tire set up on it. And I believe they're just 15 by 7s. Whereas these are a little beefier. I believe they're 15 by 8s. They could potentially be 15 by 9s, but I don't think they're quite that thick. Regardless, both sets of wheels are pretty cool. So I guess it just comes down to whichever one I like better. Well, what do y'all think? What do y'all think I should do? I like the ideas that I have for this truck. Personally, I think it's going to be a fun truck, and I can't wait to get it back on the road. And that's going to be pretty soon, too, so stay tuned.